All right, hello everyone. This is uh, Smea here. Just uh, bringing you an update to uh, Ninjax 2.7, which uh, now supports versions 11.1 .1 and 11.0 of the uh, 3DS firmware, which are currently uh, the latest versions. And so I just released this. It should work now. I, I fixed all the versions on the website and just wanted to uh, record a quick tutorial to explain how this works because uh, the installation process is a little different than it used to be. Uh, it's a little more annoying, but it works pretty well, so uh, just bear with me for a minute. So this is my 3DS. It's, uh, it's a new 3DS, but this obviously works on all 3DS models, so 3DS, new 3DS, uh, 2DS, whatever crap console you might have. And then, so the first thing you want to do is uh, you go into the main menu here, and you want to uh, to clear your save game. To do that, you want to hold L, R, X, and Y for a second. Alright, then you press yes, yes again and everything's great. Then you go into create QR code and we're going to want to scan a QR code so uh, the way to what, what you want to do next is go onto the Ninjax2 uh, webpage. I'll put a link in the description of course and once you're here you go into get Ninjax. You select your firmware version so in my case new 3DS version is 11.1 .1, and my region is USA and then I press update QR code. So this is going to show a QR code, but the new thing here is you don't have just one QR code, you actually have 15. So you're going to need to uh, scan every single one of them in order to uh, to install Ninjax, uh, which actually doesn't take that long. All you need to do is uh, place your, your 3DS correctly like that. All right. What what happens uh, when you successfully scan the th uh, a QR code is the uh, little text here that used to be here is going to disappear, and the upper screen is going to to freeze. And uh, once you've got that, all you have to do is press B, then press A again to go back into the scan QR code menu. Then you can move on to the next QR code. And so it's pretty it's pretty easily uh, done in a few minutes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that here to uh, show it to you. In my case, it's a little uncomfortable <laughs> because I am currently crouching on the floor in order to uh, handle both my 3DS and the camera. But trust me, this is way easier than it looks here. All right, let's uh, adjust the screen a little bit. So this is second QR code, just 12 more to go. All right, once you've scanned all 15 QR codes, you're gonna wanna press B again. This way you'll go back to the main menu and you just select QR code again. And if everything went well, yay. All right, so we got hacks, uh, hacks working, home relauncher, everything is working as it should, so. Uh, yeah, this is a little more time consuming. Obviously, it takes it, it took me like four minutes to get this working. Uh, not too bad. And uh, yeah, just uh, just let me know if you encounter any issues. If uh, if you if it doesn't work, chances are you just missed missed the QR code. If it still doesn't work after a couple tries, uh, let me know on Twitter. I'll try to fix it. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this and hope it's useful to people. See you, everyone.